The reason why I'm so zorz is because I meet weekly with a wonderful, wonderful person. His name is Coach Sandalwood, and he's my life coach. This was the most important part of our session. Everybody's moving so fast, and I'm so slow, and I, and I don't feel good about it. Well, where did they start? You can't tell me that they weren't slow at some point, and that's where you are. You're going to get faster. You're going to get better. Just trust the process and just keep going. Somebody had to come into my house and literally flash my BIOS without my permission at night when I was asleep. Now he left instructions and somebody asked on the channel, how do you do that? So we're going to go through that today. You're going to shoot over to NVIDIA NV Flash which is at techpowerup.com. You're going to download this newest version here. And you click download. It's going to go into your download folder, whatever download folder you're using. You're going to find the zip file. And then when you have the zip file, you're going to extract it. Use whatever you want to extract it. You're going to do, I use seven zip, so I do seven zip, extract files. It's going to make a folder. The folder is going to come down here. Where, where is my folders? Now you got the folder right here. In the folder, you're gonna see a 32 and a 64. Whichever one you're using, that's the one you wanna grab. I use 64. Now you're gonna do 64, you're gonna hit copy. Now, you wanna go back to your computer and you're going to create a folder called NV Flash, right? Now I've done that here already, but if you haven't done that, this is in your local disk, NV Flash. I've already made it, so you do right click, new folder, NV Flash, and then you will have what looks like this. Now I've put this in here as well. Um, what we want to do then, once you've created this, is go to the BIOS collection, which is where I got this, and that's what this is here. Tech Power Up also has all of the available BIOS for your card. Now I just put in 4090, I'll link the 4090, but you can also type in any card, and you'll see a list of all the available BIOS that people have jack moved off the uh, their card and put it up on the internet for us to um, to take advantage of. I am cray cray, but not full blown nutcase right now. I went sticking to MSI and I didn't go liquid because that has a different configuration of fans. And what you have to remember is anything you do is going to trick the card into thinking it's something it's not. So I went with the Supreme X and I went with the um, the gaming, not the silent. That's what these are. It's the differences here. Any one of these, we click on details, you're going to see that you have different options and they all have different targets and limits, right? Um, it also, what you have to keep in mind is the ports. Every card has different ports and you might end up with the card thinking it's got three display ports when it really doesn't. So you have to be very careful with all this. You know, all I did uh, was go to the tier up of the same company I have. You also have to be aware of power limits. Like you guys saw in my last video, I only have three power cords. If I had gone full blown maniac 600 watts with three power cords, that might've been uh, <clears throat> not the best move. So we were so busy worried about if we could do it that we didn't stop to think if we should. Listen folks, be careful, okay? You could f your whole life up, okay? You could literally Fuck your life because you could brick your card. Now I'm going to show you quickly how to, how to not brick your card. If you do brick your card. And then in another video, I'm going to show you how to um, pretend that you didn't flash your card in case they try to uh, void your warranty. Before you do this, change the bio switch to whichever one you care about least because it might get jacked up. So I used uh, the silent mode to put on the Supreme X, this way, if that gets jacked up, I can go back to the gaming mode because you have two. Pretty sure all 4090s have a switch. Uh, most video cards today do. Let's say you click on the Supreme X BIOS. This is the one you want. You click on it. You download it. It downloads to your download folder, back to the download folder. What you want to do then is rename it. So it doesn't start off as Supreme X Gaming. In fact, I'll show you. Now this also shows you the boost clock. That's what you want to be looking at is the boost clock as well. So we're going to download it. It's going to come looking like that. 
That's a bunch of crazy numbers. We're going to save it. We're going to go back to our download folder. It's going to be right at the top. We take this. We copy it. We go back to the folder we created in this PC on the local disk, which should be called NV Flash just for convenience. You could call it maximum uh, uh, maneuvers. In any event, there it goes. You can hear you paste it. Now it's there. Now, now you can't type all this in because it, unfortunately we have to do this manually. So you want to call it something else. Make sure that the ROM is called whatever we want it to call. Now we could call it Gangsta as f Gangsta. I like Gangsta. Let's go with Gangsta. Now, we go back to GPU Z, which is another program also found at Tech Power Up. Basically, Tech Power Up is kicking some ass. You're going to need Tech Power Up in your life. Now you're opening up Tech Power GPU Z. Now it'll show you what BIOS you're using. It'll be right there and you'll be able to download it. Okay, now you want to do that before you do anything, just in case you, you severely ruin your life, you'll have the backup right there. And that will be available to also be flashed. So you do that, save to file. Normally, you click this cool little button in GPU Z and it'll, it'll, it'll save to file. But unfortunately, it says no, BIOS reading not supported. So you say, okay, you know, and we do it another way. Go back to the command prompt. We want to use some old school DOS skills. Now, now what do we type in this thing? You're, you're asking me to type something? Are you out of your mind? You want me to type something instead of double click on something. What is this, 1986? I'm using DOS, 94? What is this? So here's what you type, you ready? Access main program. Access main security. Access me program grid. Ah uh, ah uh, ah! Uh. You didn't say the magic word. Ah uh, ah uh, ah! Uh. Please! Uh, uh, uh. God damn it! I hate uh, uh, uh. this hacker crap. Ah uh, ah uh, ah! Uh. uh, actually, that 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 does something else. Don't type that. That'll that'll put you in a whole other place. You don't want to do that. If you type that, you end up with your arm hanging off, of, uh, hanging off somebody else's shoulder, except there's just your arm. You don't want to do that. Now, we're going to type in C, Jane, run. No, I'm just kidding. So it's CD, space, C, which is your hard drive, most likely, colon, backspace, backslash, I meant, uh, NV flash, which is the name of the folder that you called it. Of course, you could have called it Zor's. Now, we're going to do NV Flash 64, which is the name of the actual program that you're running. And you're going to do space, dash, dash, save, space, backup, dot ROM. And you're going to hit enter. Now, I did that already. And that, what that's going to do is bring up the backup dot ROM in your, in your uh, folder here, in your NV Flash folder. You want to do this because just in case shit goes haywire, you have the backup ROM. Now you can rename that, you can do it again for safety purposes, have two. So this is all basic DOS stuff, which, uh, you know, it'll be good for you youngsters to try a little DOSing, DOS around. So you got everything set up, you're ready to go. You know, you, you got your balls in your hand and you're feeling hardcore. Here's how we do it. First, we're going to Device Manager, which is down here, and any other way you want to access Device Manager. You're going to go to Display Adapters, right-click this, disable it. Now, I've done that already when I did it, so I'm not going to do it this second. Next, we're going to right-click Command Prompt Admin, and we're going to do NV Flash 64 because that's the name of the program, space, dash 6. Now, what dash 6 means is do it. You must do it. Do it. That's what it means. So dash six, and then you're going to type in the name of your ROM. Of your ROM, excuse me, not ROM. Gangsta.ROM. And then it's going to say, do you want to do it? Do you want to do it? So you're going to hit yes. And then it's going to ask you one more time, are you absolutely certain you want to do this, pal? And then you say, yes, I'm, I'm certain. 
and then bam, you did it, it's done. When you go back in, it's like you just installed a new video card. Your computer thinks now that there's a, a Strix in your card or whatever BIOS you put in your card. It's gonna think that's what it was, right? Pretty much it's that simple. Uh, you get it back into the computer, you'll have a new card, and now you'll have to basically do all your settings again because it's gonna think it's a whole brand new video card. And then you get back to it, get back to the grind. Now in the event, uh, in the event something terrible has happened and you've lost the ability to use your computer, uh, which actually just happened to me just now as I was showing you how to do this, my computer said, F you, pal. So we're going to go over to boot. We start our, our computer in, uh, into the BIOS and we need to get into safe mode. Now what I'm doing is I'm holding the shift key. Now we're in safe mode. <clears throat> What we're going to do is we're going to check out this thing and see, uh-oh, we got a runtime error. In this event, what we have to do is we have to reflash the whole thing. So what we do is we again go device manager. It should already be down, right? That's disabled already in safe mode. And what we want to do is again, go ahead into command prompt admin type in c space cd excuse me cd c backslash nv flash nv flash 64 six so basically what you're doing is you're putting back in the old bios or you're trying another bios that's the main thing that you need to do if you can't get into safe mode you can't get into anything what you do is you take your video card you smash it against the wall and you just feel all that pain, guilt, and regret. Yes, I want to do that. Make sure you type it exactly. Otherwise, you have a little mini heart attack when it says you can't do it. A reboot is required. And now we reboot. And basically what this does is it lets you get back, back in the game in case you really done f***ed up. Because you could. You could get overzealous. You could do things that don't have display ports or has 317 HDMI ports. You just have to be careful. You know, honestly, just be careful. And the reason why we do this is to get a little more power, to get more stability, maybe to get a little bit of higher clock. Frankly, I, I like for more stability because the card can push up to a certain point, but it's always like at that power limit. And as I showed you before, and what you want is to just have it be consistent. You know, I don't want loud. I want mellow. Oh my God. Afterburner says there's no card that exists. All you have to do is restart Afterburner, and Afterburner goes, oh, uh, okay, okay, we get it. And now, your power limit can go up massively. If you want to, give me the warp speed. I happen to have an ATX 3.0 on order with the power cord, and I might accidentally put a Strix BIOS on it, just to see what happens. What also you need to be aware of is that your, your base clock will now be different. Now you're starting at 2625 or whatever BIOS you flash, but just to be aware, because the first time I did it, I put in 210 and it crashed, and I said, wait a second now, it should, it should be getting me up to 230, 240 on the clock. And it was, I said I wasn't realizing it was starting at 2625. This is telling you in real time exactly what's happening. So if you look here, you can actually see Performance cap VREL. So we have voltage reliability here. Before I did this, it would it kept saying power, 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 power. You need more power. Now it says voltage, which is why the bottom line is these 4090s are voltage regulated. You really can't get too cray cray with them unless you're going to do a shunt mod. You're going to do some uh, internal modulations of the device on the with a soldering thing actually taking it apart uh, and applying you know Derbauer power to it but essentially for regular folks you're going to be voltage regulated but you don't want to be power regulated so by flashing the BIOS you get a little bit more and the consistency of the power is also something you want to look at this goes up to 140 and you can apply that in real time and check it out now, when you're done with the run, you can click on max on everything here. Board power draw, max was 497. GPU power draw, 407. 
You can't do that with perfcap reason. But you can also set a log, which I set up to my desktop. It'll set up a log so you can actually really analyze if you want to get really serious about it. In case you're wondering what this thing is, you're going to find out soon enough. Um, looks old, doesn't it? I'm going to say 27.5. Ooh, even worse. That's not thrilling. There's reasons for that. In any event, that's how you do it. Um, remember to set your fan curve, get your power limit, and stay tuned because we will be probably doing some dumb shit and flashing a Strix BIOS on this thing and see if it explodes. I'm even thinking about water cooling the GPU, but look, honestly guys, it, it really doesn't matter. Just go one tier up, get a little more power, keep it consistent. I'm not a scientist, okay? I don't, I don't know everything. I'm, I'm figuring it out together with you guys. So if you have any questions or comments or thoughts, let me know. Next week, we're gonna be building a whole new computer and that's going to be thrilling and terrifying at the same time. So stay tuned, subscribe, and stay Zors. Yo, Dotson! Dotson! Dotson, we've got Dotson here! See, nobody cares. 18 minutes and your BIOS gets all the power it deserves. Gracias, señor. Don't get cheap on me, Dotson.